Hello, everybody. I should do it like this. This is my new camera, so it's at an angle. Um, just want to give people a second to get here. And uh, I want to tell you guys what we're about, why I'm doing this, and then maybe answer some questions and um, raise some cash to feed some hungry people who are displaced, uh, understandably, um, because of this awful situation that is going on in Ukraine. I think this camera's a little too good. <laughs> so all the money that comes out of here is going to go towards World Central Kitchen, which is wck.org. You can see it at the lower left of the screen. Um, uh, they help people who need food uh, due to various crises all over the world. So I thought this was a no-brainer um, in terms of a reputable organization that isn't just for Ukrainians, um, but for people in other parts uh, of Earth who are having to deal with this sort of uh, situation. Um, the reason, but and it was perfect timing because I just had um, the mail dropped off, and we could do a little bit of show and tell, which I haven't done for a while. Um, I love you, dude. Thank you for doing this. As both sides um, beat the drum, we can now see Michael Malice in 9K. Love it. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> funny stuff. Um, so let's do, um, a little bit of show and tell, then I'll talk a bit about, um, uh, Ukraine and so on and so forth. So this is something that's really cool. I'm a dinosaur, as you guys know. And, um, one of the things that I collected when I was a kid was something called wacky packages. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, what was I going to say about the wacky packages? Oh, when I've asked if I would ever get a tattoo, there are four that I would get off the top of my head. And one of them is booberry. And coincidentally, I scored some original wacky packages art. Damn, Matt, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I scored some original Wacky Packages art, and it was of the Booberry sticker. Let me get it open right here. So Wacky Packages were like Garbage Pail Kids, which some of you might know, but they came first. Fuck, I can't get this open. Life is beautiful. Can you get me an Eliza Blues podcast? <laughs> I'm hoping to help the people of Ukraine. Who knows? You might next you the next Michael Malice. Yeah. Okay. So this is this is from 2014. So what they would do with the wacky packages? How do I do this? Come on, people. Do I have to put it in my face. Yeah. It doesn't know how to. It doesn't know how to focus. Well, there it is. It's Gooberry. I've got the original art upstairs. And yeah, so that is that. And we've got some cool plants here. They're all really weird. Let's show you them. One is called Fairy Elephant's Feet. Can't watch. Thank you, sir. Okay, we got three plants here. Oh, there goes the styrofoam. First major world event you remember. Oh, that's a good one. I remember Reagan getting reelected. That's 84, so that was when I was eight. I, that might be the first one. I don't know uh, anything other than that. What kind of money is this? Ignore the propaganda. No matter who's in the wrong, the public doesn't deserve to suffer. Yes, this is not a hard uh, <laughs> question. This is not hard. Hungry people should have food. Um, peace. Yes, very much. That's the hope. Loved your chat with Cerno, an important discussion for anyone looking forward to keep a balanced perspective. I'm going to talk about that in a second once I get these plants out. Let's start with some levity, and then we can get some of the serious stuff. Oh, this is so cool. 
This is so cool. I just put all my plants on the deck because it's warm here in Austin. All right. We're going to start with the least cool and go into the most cool. Life is beautiful. Can you get Lex to quote the Kool-Aid man and say, oh, yeah. I, 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 I can't get Lex to do much. Thanks for putting this together. You are welcome. Looking good, old man. Yeah, please. Uh, thank you for doing that. Thank you, Tara. Um, in your Anarchist Hammock, page 80. Oh, that's a great quote from Bakunin, yeah. Uh, that essay holds up phenomenally, uh, that, that uh, Bakunin's. I was really impressed with it when I read it uh, as, when I was compiling the book. Oh, by the way, Anarchist Handbook. The hardcovers have been delivered. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, signed and numbered. I'm going to go. I'm going to do a live stream signing them. I'm going to have to fly to LA next week, and they'll be available at malice.locals.com, and they will not be reprinted. Is there any better example of gutter inefficiency than distributing crack in poor neighborhoods and not getting around to distributing crack pipes until over 35 years later? <laughs> One place I trust to send money. Rock on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, for your generosity, Sean. Holy crap. Jesus. Wow. This is just a grift. Those Ukrainian a-holes aren't getting a penny of this. You No, of course. I'm going to post receipts. Um, <laughs> saw you were a wrestling fan. Who would be in your Mount Rushmore professional wrestlers? Well, there's a difference between who my favorites were and who would be the best, right? Like Hulk Hogan would clearly have to be on there. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Uh, but he's not one of my favorites at all. So I, I don't know really how to answer that uh, uh, question. What are your thoughts on the Declaration of Independence of Cyberspace? I have not, I'm not familiar with it. Please ask your dad to get me a, yeah. For those of you who don't know, someone, someone had put on my Wikipedia that my dad worked at Goldman Sachs, which if it was true, who cares, but it wasn't true. And people have argued with me about it and have told me that I have a trust fund and it's all this really amazing things that people on the internet think they know you. And then when you say no, it's like, oh, you're just lying. I know. It's like, okay, crazy lady. Thank you so much. Oh, it's Mike. Everyone hates Mike. For the people of Ukraine, victims with Putin and NATO. And here's the other thing. Some people came at me like, you know, why aren't you doing this for people of Russia? I am worried about people of Russia. I want them to have food too. This, this is not a... Also, it's it's not a binary thing. I want to feed uh, hungry people. If you could send one piece of information up to 100 years in the past, what would it be? Oh, um, ooh, that's such a great question. Uh, 100 years, so I, it's too late for me to stop Woodrow Wilson. Um, I, I'd warn them about Stalin. That would probably be the one. Like once you knock out Stalin, a lot of stuff at that point is too late to knock out Lenin. A lot of other things fall into place. Have you been shocked at how anti-establishment, anti-narrative types was already victim blamed the average Ukrainian? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie that I'm very surprised. And Tom Woods jumped in on this too, the very failed podcaster, about when because I was like, uh, let me just explain why I'm doing this this um, um, uh, uh, fundraiser. So. Whenever Cernovich was on my show this week, and I respect him enormously. Oh, fuck. Gravel's everywhere. God damn it. This is worse than what's happening in Ukraine. I have some gravel on my pant. Um, and as Cernovich pointed out, excuse me, when you, as he put, these are his words. He's like, when you have the cast of SNL and Stephen Colbert and all these other people telling you you have to be on the side of Ukraine. He's like, if all the worst people in the world are telling me something, I must be missing something, right? And whenever you hear the drumbeats of war and someone's another Hitler, been there, done that, it's like, all right, let's take a deep breath. Let's under, let, and watch that You're Welcome episode. I think we did a great job. It's like, Putin's not stupid. He's not crazy. What's his end game? How does he think this is going to play out? And we, we spent some time kind of working through that. And... Then I got a call from my sister. My dad does work in Ukraine. Uh, that's where I was born. I was born in Lviv, which is all the way west in Ukraine, part of Galicia. And he was doing business in Ukraine, you know, he, for years. And he just got out. He, I didn't know he was there this past week. And he was on a train. And there were all these parents, excuse me, moms, because the men had to stay behind with these kids. And there's all these crying children, hysterical, understandably. 
And he's sitting next to some kid and the kid was crying. They're going to kill my dad. They're going to kill my dad. And my sister said my dad was like all crying in a mess. I have literally never, not once, seen him cry or, or even admit that he's like hurt because he's not like a tough guy, but he's really sarcastic and snide, which maybe it's one of the reasons I don't like that so much. So it, there's a lot of eye rolling and like whatever, get over it kind of situation with him. So for him to be losing it, I was like, he must have seen some sick shit. And, you know, when they cross the border, they have food and, and, and um, clothing for them and baby formula. These mothers didn't have milk. Like, that's who I'm worried about. Like, th those million who had to get the F out of Ukraine, let's get them fed. Let's get them taken care of. That's who this is for. This is not. So when I, when I put this on social media and I talked about it, people were like, oh, so you're, uh, why are you buying into the anti-Putin propaganda? This isn't propaganda. This is someone who is my dad saw this with his own eyes, and those are the people I'm helping. The end. If this is a problem for anyone, um, you can go to hell as far as I'm concerned. If you have an issue with pe feeding families who are fleeing war, or you think somehow they're complicit or blah, 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 I, I'm not interested in hearing it. But I am interested in showing you this point, which I, this has been very carefully wrapped. I'm a rapper, you know. I'm an unwrapper. It's the opposite of rapper. Oh. Very cool. It was just flowering too. So hold on. Let me get this gravel off my pants, which I am wearing pants, which is rare for me in a live stream. But then you'll see something very cool. Okay. This is impossible to pronounce. Let me see if there's any more. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for all this. Listen to your show with Joe Walsh. Do you think he's a snake? Um, yes. Um, but I think he's bright. Since I'm boycotting all the Russian only fan girls, yeah. Um, Michael forgot to take his adrenochrome. <laughs> well, that's why you need those kids to get out of Ukraine. I need my supply. Um, have you read Rothbard's Regressive Era? I, I have, um, and I thought I thought highly of it. Love your collector side. I've always loved dinosaur prehistoric animals. Oh yeah, that's very 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 cool. Um, largest nuclear reactor in Ukraine you got hit. Oh God, I did not. Oof. Hashtag Ted was right. Ted is my dad's name. Um, have you? I have not heard that song. Okay, let me catch up here. I made a huge mistake when I was young and joined the military, deployed to Iraq. I feel a tremendous amount of guilt. Don't feel guilt. There's nothing you can do. Do not feel guilt. I if if my words mean anything to you, I am absolving you. You were a young dumb kid. There's nothing you can do now except be a good person. And that even goes for like former cops. My grandfather's parents skipped Soviet trolls with Lithuania. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Here's the other thing why this is personal for me. As many of you know, for the last two years, I had been planning to go to Russia and Ukraine, where I was born with Chris Williamson. And because of COVID, that was an impossibility. And now I was looking forward to the third year for going uh, again. And now I'm, first of all, I'm scared I can't, but I'm also scared that if I go by that time, maybe the town will be damaged uh, and I won't be able to see it, you know, the way it was when we left in the seventies. I hadn't been back since I was born there. So, uh, and I'm, I, there's so many, I'm like, is this going to be feel like nothing to me? Is it going to be like, Oh, my soul belongs here. Some mix. I don't know. I'm very curious to see uh, what that's going to be like. Um, imaginary evil is romantic and varied. Real evil is gloomy. Yes, I agree with this. Imaginary good is boring. Real good is always new, marvelous, intoxicating. Amen. And well said. Ukraine or the Ukraine. Heard Moblog explain it should be the Ukraine. Well, the Ukraine is a region. Ukraine is a country. So that's the basis of the argument. If Moblog doesn't want to wreck, I'm going to see him on Sunday. If he doesn't want to recognize Ukraine as a country, that is his prerogative. Have you ever seen the Soviet anti-war movie Come and See? I have not. Um, can you personally give this to the ghost of Kim? <laughs> I'll be sure to, Charlie. Um, the pic of you and your grandpa is very cute. I love that pic. I love how sassy I was, even like five years old. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, for Babushka. Yes. Thank love you, Mike. I love you more. Um in a dark place, but so are the good people of Ukraine. Hopefully this little bit will help people. Yeah, I thank you. Thank you all so much for your generosity. Um, 
Thank you so much. Oh, Annie Hall, I've never seen that movie. Um, I hope Ukrainians look at this food the same way Nancy looks at Biden when talking about burn pits. <laughs> oh, okay, Joy <laughs> Bay. After four years of Trump, wasn't it nice to finally hear a president address American Manufacturing Board of Security in the State of the Union? <laughs> um, this is for the Ukrainian truckers. <laughs> You're awesome. Hope you and yours are okay. We're all okay. Um, reading the Machiavellians, have the historical research after all, almost every few pages to follow it so far. Great, great, great book. Um, to this day, I'm still jealous of your Lavranti burial letter. It's hanging right now in my kitchen next to my robe spear. Like, where do you even acquire such a thing? It was on eBay. It was on eBay. Um, the fight for nuclear plan is happening right now. It's streamed on YouTube. <sighs> Bribe for autograph book 502. It's not happening. Um, I was very surprised to see the vitriol for trying to help children. Any update on the Kenny Hotz episode? Great question. So Kenny had twice canceled. I had him scheduled at the last minute. First, because he was exhausted because they were doing uh, press all day. Very understandable. Second time, he had a, a friend pass away, which is also very understandable. His manager, whoever's contact, bumped it again. So the door is always open for him. Uh, he's a real troll model of mine. Uh, I love seeing you grow all these years. Well, growing is not really a word that applies to someone who's 4'11". Hey, Michael, love the work you do and all the succulents you do. You get the cacti as well. I do. I have several cacti. Um, in your opinion, is this going to turn to nuclear conflict? I, I am not an informed person. I don't understand what Putin's going for here. I, um, all I can say is like, I have never wanted anything more in my life. Like I think I can say this fairly than to be sure that this doesn't become nuclear. Like literally, like I wanted this painting. I wanted to get into this college. I wanted to date. Blah, blah. Nothing is more important than it not going nuclear. I, I, how many people would that be? I don't even want to think about it. Yarvin said today he's never heard of Dave Smith. <laughs> many such cases. Uh, thank you for your service. Um, already given to Ukraine, we'll give more. How do I not die from anxiety? Here's why. Here's how it's easy. And as a Russian, I can give you some good advice. As a Ukrainian Russian, I, I don't even now I don't even know what to call myself anymore, to be honest. We always said Russian because we spoke Russian at home, and the Russians hated us a little less than the Ukrainians did. But uh, suddenly, I, I am not feeling so much solidarity with uh, Mama Rysia. Um if it if here's the thing if it fails how does that ruin, hurt your life it would suck there's a chance that ha that didn't happen if you were going to make it you don't only have one shot i've written several books that never got published so i assure you you should hope for the best but if you think your only way for success is this one meeting through disney that's the wrong approach that's my advice to you I was in Lviv three years ago, a very depressing place. Hmm. Okay. Uh, aren't you glad the adults are in charge? Yeah. I wish I could send more. I wish I could stop and listen right now. Yeah. Uh, um, the only Ukrainian dish I know of is called borscht. What are some must try dishes? You know what's, you know what's really, really good is taranka, which is salted fish which I don't know if American or Western palates could handle it, but we ate that crap like jerky. It's so good. Is that a Nestor McAnuff fly behind you? Yes, it is. Check my Instagram. Someone sent it to me. Kevin did. Thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, is conservatives calling everyone they don't like Nazis progressivism driving the speed limit? No. I hope this goes to Louis Jacob as of Ukraine. Have you thought about adding a blooming table to your succulents? I don't know what that is. I've never heard of a blooming table. Um, let's look that up. What a great question. And then let me show you the succulents I got today. Blooming table. Oh, that is so cool. It wouldn't work with my succulents and I don't, I, it wouldn't work in the Texas climate. So blooming table, for those of you who don't know, including everyone, uh, including myself as of five minutes ago, they have a, like a planter box and there's a plate pane of glass over it i guess to increase heat and uh, some humidity um but you don't need more heat here i've been a f 
Yeah, I've never I've been so conflicted internally, but I'm not wanting war, but wanting to fight against Putin's tyranny. Let's feed the hungry. Yeah, not everything. You don't have to have it take a side in every single issue. Okay, let me show you the plants. So this is, you know, the way they they planted it. You can really see how it's camouflaged in nature. So this is Crassula mesembryanthemopsis. Can you see that? You know, for a fancy camera, it's not that smart. How do we do this? Okay, anyway, so it's extremely well camouflaged. The leaves are blue, and it looks just like gravel. So can we see that? Isn't that great? It's a very cute miniature. You could see it's flowered before. The, fl the dead flower is at the left of the screen. There you go. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Let me show you the other two. Ooh, this one I'm going to save for last. The elephant's feet. Okay, let me catch up a little bit of this. My grandparents got out of Ukraine in 1932. Holy crap. Wow. I hate what Putin's doing with seeing people pushed hard for lockdowns. Now I want to flirt with nuclear wars. Extremely concerning. Amen, brother. Thank you for that, Catfish. Um, keep living the dream. Thanks for the great work. Supposedly Russia's on gold standard again. U.S. to see mass defection of libertarians. <laughs> Have you ever considered um, having geopolitical analysts like George Friedman or Peter Zahan to discuss world events? No, because I'm poorly informed on that. And it's not something that really interests me all that much. Um, hey, Michael, appreciate your work. Considering your opinions on the cops, do you have similar feelings toward the military? No, I don't. Because A, you can't quit the military. Um, B, the military is in much more nuanced of a situation than the police. Um, and I don't think the military attracts the same kind of person that attracts that the police attract. And I don't think there's as much – like a lot of times people in the military are just sitting around. Or even when they're overseas, they're not actively doing malevolent things. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Love you. I love. Oh, look at this. Second Amendment's looking better and better these days. Use this for food and bullets. Also, Yarvin said Tom Woods was a neo Confederate today. <laughs> he was 100% serious. What? That That's interesting. I'll bring that up with him on. Um, Sunday. Speaking of plants, biggest nuclear plant. Yep, we just heard. Okay, let's show the second plant. Now, this is a Haworthia. And a Haworthia is a very popular genus in captivation, cultivation, excuse me. I'm used to my aquarium uh, lingo. And this species is very variable. And this specimen I got is particularly cool because I had one before in Brooklyn. It never took, I imported from South Africa. But this one has um, tubercules on it that make it look like a salted pretzel. Now, for those of you who don't know what those are, as a former New Yorker, uh, when you're a kid, getting the salted pretzel on the street was really, really fun. It had big salt crystals on it. And this plant is going to look the same. So let me show you guys what we got here. For more information about succulents, consult your local library. Or, or 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 local autist. Okay. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Someone's gonna have to figure out how much super chats have added up. All right. Doo -doo -doo. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Bear with me, folks. Man, they pack this really well. I'm, I'm always impressed when they do that. Um, ah, Jesus. God. All right. Uh, I think I'm also going to do a live stream reading the first chapter of The White Pill in the near future. Oh, this is great. Now, this is going to look similar to stuff you've seen in the stores, but this one 
You know what? It's not as cool as I thought. Mm. But here we go. You can see that it's got those raised tubercles on them. But it's not as much as I thought from the picture. Oh, well, it's still cool. It's still pretty cool. And let me just do one more, and then we'll be done. Well, let me catch up. Um, thanks for this. Been looking for a way to donate. Would offer to buy you a beer, but I think we all know your response. Well, that's okay. Well, I, my response is thank you I, 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 for the kindness. Um, love you, Mike. Thank you for doing this. Thank you all so much. Um, here's 20 bucks for Ukraine. Since watching you, I've learned it's not worth arguing. Yes. With boomer cons or liberals, correct. When someone brings up politics at work, I just smile and nod. Isn't your life so much better? Isn't your life so much better? Like seriously, I, I, I uh, some nut job said the war on terror accomplished nothing because injuries veterans suffered. We've made great strides for aesthetics. Think of all the cool stuff we'll get. It'll be like Iron Man. <laughs> Thank. Oh wow! Thank you for this generosity. I discovered Lex and Chris and Yarvin. All of your wisdom gave me so much peace. Love you, even though we're not friends. Well, I love you too. Thank you so much, Maria. Michael, I can't go to Ukraine now. Malice pulling a real joy in Behar there. Well, I'm I'm about to fall out of this chair. Putin has gone full social so just warrior. He declared war because he says you. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank you. Is there any hope for things to get better? Of course. Uh, something just happened today, which I was very glad to hear, which is they negotiated a uh, a pathway, I forget what it's called, but basically to allow food and refugees to escape so that civilians could be safer. I thought that's a wonderful step in the right direction. Um, here's some lizard money. <laughs> The whole situation shows how evil the that yeah the governments are yeah. Um, hey Malice, I'm a big fan. You introduced me to Yanarchism. I think you blocked me on Twitter a while ago for reasons I don't know. Slava Ukraina. Well, oh, uh, let's uh, thank you for the contribution. Wouldn't be would have wouldn't better if Ukraine government surrender. What's the worst that could happen? Are they aware they are fighting proxy war? Arab did this before, and they were the biggest loser uh good questions um for the kids epstein wants them plumped up Oof. um am i even hoping that western germany takes another big hit while knowing the trauma and suffering that putin is causing um i don't think you're evil but i think we're the concern is that it's iran 1979 and the idea is the shah is terrible the shah is terrible which i'm sure was true and the the concept is well, this guy sucks. So whatever the alternative must not suck. And it's like oh, this one sucks even more. So um, I, I, I this is a very tricky situation, uh, and I think we're so used to being opposed to some really horrible people who do not value human life, pushing for war. That the knee jerk is to take the opposite, and and as a heuristic, that's not a bad one. But I'm I'm hoping to wait and see and, and try to suss out what's going on here before opening my cut mouth. The only thing I am certain of is a million people have fled and they need food. For the Ukrainian people, memory of Anthony Fauci, this, <laughs> they sacrifice so he may be forgotten. Yeah, for sure. Um, maybe contact Team YouTube on Twitter. Ask them not to take a cut since the charity stream. That's a great idea. Uh, loves a feeling you feel when you feel you're going to feel the feeling you've never felt before. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks, coach. Um, I work at a university where a pro-Stalin professor says the Holt War did not happen, that the famine was from natural causes. How do I direct my anger positively respond without getting fired? What, what could you possibly hope to accomplish? He, he's not acting in good faith. Um, the Soviet, the, the Soviets admitted the, the fall of the war happened. So it, it's, it's, so there was a famine at the very least. So we, we have receipts read Anne Applebaum's book. If you could trade IQ points for height, would you stay as you are or go full Jesse Kelly? I would stay as I am because if I was average intelligence and very tall, I'd be working some terrible job. Like Jesse Kelly. 
Phil. Thank you. And now it's time for the last plans. These succulent streams are my girlfriend's favorite. Love watching it. Oh, thank you so much, Tyler. Okay. This is going to be a really cool one. And this is a plant uh, I'm sure none of you have seen before. Because it's a real hipster plant. It's named after Frith. It's called Frithia. And the nickname is Fairy Elephant's Feet. And it's a mesem, which means, and it doesn't mean that, but its leaves have windows at the top to let in light because the chlorophyll occurs, I'm sorry, the photosynthesis occurs inside the leaves. And this one is a summer grower. And now that it's gotten warm here again in Austin, it was time to acquire one. And these are a little tricky to take care of, but I'm confident I'll be able to do well. Oh, this is so great. This is so great. Okay, let me show you the Frithia pulchra. Can you see that? So you can see the tops where you have the windows. There we go. That's it. Isn't that cool? I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. What a great haul today. Okay, let's answer some more questions. Oh, and now it's all blurry. Oh, there we go. This is a smart camera. Okay. Um, what are your favorite bands and artists? Saint Etienne is right behind me. Blondie, The Go Go's. Um, those are some easy ones off the top of my head. I, I'll go to my iTunes and do sort by play, play count, right? Um, plays. Let's see who my favorite artists are. We've got the Marionettes, the Pipettes, um, Fight Like Apes, Aha, Metric, Allo Darling, Black Box Recorder, Alcest Lorraine. Those are some good names. Thank you so much, Brian. Okay. What do you make of the argument that exponential tech like automation AI will render a large enough amount of human labor outside to make UBI and taxation along with the necessary mechanism? Um, I think it is... Um, so this is the big question is has technology technology didn't make humans obsolete when the car was invented, but it did make the horse obsolete. Now, are we at a point or are we coming to a point where a computer is more useful than maybe the lowest, whatever, 20% of the population? I think the answer is yes. And I think when that happens, you're going to have a lot of people who are effectively going to be pets of society which well, the welfare state does. The, you know, your, your food's taken care of, your housing's taken care of, and there's no um, presumption that you're going to contribute meaningfully in any way. Uh, so this is, this is something that's been discussed at certain parts of the internet and in certain uh, publications, and this is something I am concerned about as well. Thank you for modeling effective mental health strategies like boundary, self-esteem, authenticity. Well, that's good. That's wonderful. I, I love hearing that. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. Thank you, and thank you, Kirk. Um, what's your favorite double-edged razor blade for shaving? I don't use that. I use, no, I use, um, I just use Harry's. Okay, we are caught up. Whew, I'm going to get a drink. Ah, good times. Okay. Um... I wonder how much we raised so far. Um, someone's someone's going to have to tell me. Someone's going to have to go through and uh, um, um, tell me. What else do I want to talk to you guys about? I am 120 pages through of the white pill. I think it's probably going to be 300 total, 240, 300. So that's something I'm excited about. It's taking forever, but it's it's full of content. Well, thank you, Eliza. That's very nice of you. Um, so that's good. Um, I've been tricking out my living room in, uh, I'm being inspired by Gertrude Stein. 
Gertrude Stein had a apartment in the left bank of Paris in the twenties and all the people came there and hung out. So I think Austin becoming such a cultural hub to have this be a hangout for like people who are making it happen is something that's going to be a lot of fun. I didn't have the space in New York and also my apartment was a little bit out of the way. Um, father once complained about small issue to my grandfather defected from red army joined Jewish resistance. He laughed and said the shelves of the store buckle from the weight food matters. A amen. Amen. Um, favorite shaving brush then I've got like 11. Uh, the one that, uh, JL Lawson sent me is a one of a kind made with a brass handle is really cool. I also have one from world war one from Brit a British one. And the bottom, there's a silver sticker that says like guaranteed anthrax free. Did you hear about Justin Timberlake joining the fight? I, I saw that article. I, I, I could, didn't know, I didn't click on the headline rather. Um, Money for Ukraine. What do you think of the theory? There are no successful peasant revolts. All major revolts are asked to from elite trying to move up. Well, no, I think there are peasant revolts, but any revolt of the peasantry is going to be co-opted by a, either a, an existent elite or an emerging elite. You, you, they need leadership. In fact, this is one of the things that North Korea says accurately because in their deification of the great leader Kim Il-sung, um, they make the point that without the leadership, the masses – are basically like chickens with their heads cut off. And I don't think they're entirely wrong there. Now, that's not saying uh, General Kim Il-sung is the greatest person who's ever lived, nor was he the leader that they claim he was at the time, historically. But yeah. Um, honest argument about Haldemar nomenclature is that the Ukrainians weren't specifically targeted. Uh, the communist regime's policies caused mass famine of the Soviet Union. Ex Kazakhs died in more percentage. Yeah, maybe it's more percentage. No, no, no. They were targeted. The Ukrainians were absolutely specifically targeted because they were the grain producers. They they went to their houses, uh, they took their food, um, and they were trying to break Ukraine. So uh I I it wasn't Ukraine all Ukrainians, it was you know the, the peasantry, but they very much were specifically targeted. I don't agree with that at all. Um and and I also think that this argument that well it was just a it was a famine natural causes it was still covered up so there was a famine in the Soviet Union in the early twenties it was wasn't called the Soviet Union then and I well I discussed this in the white pill they asked for Western help and they got it to some extent so yeah ah, good times okay I will do this for another. I guess we could do another. Um, do I want anything else to show you guys? I don't think I do. Oh, so, uh, I got some cool postcards in the mail, so that's kind of fun. Um, praying for a swift end to hostilities, but fearing that governments will not allow this. Um, I don't see how this ends. Because if Putin today is like, you know what, screw this, I'm going home, they're not. They're gonna push their advantage. I don't. Uh, do you think internet is net positive or negative? It is, in my opinion, unambiguously a very strong net positive. Good cause, brother. Much love from the Hermit Kingdom. What? Oh, Perth. <laughs> Spoiler alert. He didn't mean North Korea. Um, Viva and Barnes sidebar appearance anytime soon. I don't know what that means. Um Going to try carry the first time decade somewhat soon. Any suggestions? Did I miss any hardcover updates? The hardcovers are delivered. I have to go sign them in LA. Um, going to try carry the first time. I don't have any suggestions. I did a caviar live stream. Go look at mine on this. And I tried like a bunch of caviars. Um, I'm concerned this help will reach the fringe unvaxxed. <laughs> unvaxxed. <laughs> What's the anarchist position for what the average Ukrainian should do when there are Russians storming their streets, uh, get a gun. This isn't, this is, that's the, that flag was too. Um, it's not an anarchist position, particularly. It's, I think, uh, the right position. It's like anywhere, if, if it's the Malcolm X position too. Thank you, Gordon. I'm worried about escalating tensions, people's attitudes here. You and me both, brother. You and me both. Well, thank you so much for this. That's very nice of you. Highly recommend Stalin's War by McKeeman. McMe McMeekin, sorry. 
uh, let's hope for the end of the war as soon as possible, reduce the innocent casualties and damage. I don't agree with the argument pointing out the good faith argument. These people agree there was mass starvation caused by Soviet Union. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Good seeing your name. Um, I would love to see you and Lex take a trip to the Beanie Compound. It would be an epic show. I, I can tell you all, I am going to be on, this is probably going to be in late April, on Tim with a special guest. Tim doesn't know who this guest is. And it is going to be absolutely, absolutely ep epic. And it's not Alex. I think this ends one way. Lots of dead across Europe. Thoughts on how to navigate the threat of Putin using nukes. I, I, it, there's the argument going on. I've seen online that Putin is really ill or this is blaze of glory or he wants to, you know, if that was, or he's crazy. If that was the case, he would have opened with nukes. Um, my hope, and I don't think it's an irrational hope, is that it's he's just he's not I I he's not I was very disturbed when he's like ready the nukes, but at the same time, there's a very big difference between flashing your gun and firing your gun. War is really Russia versus U.S. NATO, so it won't end till U.S. negotiates with Russia. Why not offer? No Ukrainian entry to NATO, and if Russia agrees to bilateral nuke reduction, then no need for missiles on borders. Ukraine disbands Azov, so Putin can claim denazification. All win. It's not all win, because then you're going to have a lot of people in the West saying, not incorrectly, that this has um, rewarded and validated aggression and, and uh, crossing sovereign borders, and we can't have that, blah, blah, blah. So while I would agree with with most of what you said without rereading it, I, that's something that doesn't seem likely to me to happen specifically for that reason. Hello, Amanda. I've been homeless and live meal to meal. No matter how much you raise, every single meal. Yes. Thank you so much. Exactly. Thank you, Adam. Oh, Kerouac. The woman I'm seeing emigrated from Ukraine last year. Nationally, she's apoplectic, and all I could do is be in a support position. Thanks, Malice. Break up with her immediately. Because Ukrainian women have no souls. Bought a bunch of anarchist handbooks, donated to local libraries. You gave them to the to the government. Um, thank you, Mr. Gwen. Thanks for signing, dear reader, at Tom Woods thing. Hope I wasn't too trashed. Uh, we all talked about it. Uh, prayers for all suffering from the evil that leaders leaders are solely responsible for. Amen. All I wanted was ethics in video game journalism. I should tweet that. That's that's what Putin really wants here. I thought I was red pilled. Then I watched Nightshade. That show's terrible. Is your special Tim guest guest the same screaming man you watched at Tom Woods two thousand? You mean Tom Woods? No. Bitcoin fixes this. Well, hopefully. Um, Let's see. I'm going to check Drudge to see what the headlines are. Top Russian general killed. Odessa braces. They misspelled Odessa. Satellites hacked. Um, fight to capture Europe's biggest power plant. Jesus. <sighs> All right. Jose is a badass. Thanks for doing this. Who's Jose? Did I miss it? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, wow, Joey. Thank you so much for your generosity. Um, given Fountainhead and Rand worked for Raymond Hood, I've never heard of this. Um, is that who she interned for? Was she like volunteered for to research architecture? I didn't realize it was Raymond Hood. Have you read much on modernism and architecture on urban planning? I've not. I have read Jane Jacobs' book, on, uh, two of her books. Um, I'm actually reading right now a book written by, um, Howard Lasky, who was the inspiration for Ellsworth Tui, and it's not worth reading. It's just torture. It's just absolute, absolute torture, not torture, but it's, there's, there's nothing of value to be found in it. Okay. I'll do this for another, um, 14 minutes. Um, and then I will get to work. Um, Cool. Uh, what else can I talk to you guys about for the fundraiser? Thank you so much, Marla. 
Um, going to donate through my company. So, oh, good idea. Thank you so much, Lainey. Um, oh, should I bring you guys something from upstairs? That's all right. No, our libraries are not federal, locally donated. Good. Very, very glad to know. Um, does anyone have any questions? And now I've got two things to ask Dr. Curtis. Why he thinks Tom Woods is a neo-Confederate. And also, I'm shocked he's never heard of uh, Dave Smith. Love everything that you do. The situation is so complicated. All I can think of the people in the middle that need help. Yeah. It's not... That's the least complicated part. Feed the hungry. Robert Barnes and Viva Fry have a guest podcast every Wednesday. About a month ago, they mentioned they were interested in having you on. Oh, I don't have time. Um, thank you for doing this. As Tom Woods said, every state is my enemy, but no people are my enemy. That's a good ooh, that, He's got some good quotes for someone who's such a failure. Long live Ukraine. I feel like no hamburger. <coughs> uh, I've been so, so, so busy here. It's been really, really frustrating, but also good because it's a lot of um, uh, productive work. I, I'm i sorry the book is taking so long. Um, thank you for encouraging writers. I'm close to publishing a kid's picture book with the Ukrainian illustrator. That's really cool. Um, can you do another plant show? Okay. That's an easy one. Wow. You have a handsome back head. Never knew. Neither did I. It's not David and Goliath. It's David and Bathsheba and Ukraine is Uriah. Okay. Um, I don't know that reference. I'm sorry, Philip. My girlfriend wants to know whether you ever give a tour over your recyclants collection. I did a live stream on Thanksgiving. It's on here, um, but I'll do another one. Um, I've got a lot. I, I, a few didn't survive the winter, but only like four or five. And if I, I'll, I've caught that four or five now have mealy, have um, spider mites, which are frustrating because they're not insects, so you can't really kill them with insecticide. Um, would you ever go on Russell Brand? Oh, of course, in a second. Uh, and people always tell him he should have me on because he identifies as an anarchist, but I've never heard from him. So funny you said that about Ukrainian women. She loves to wild out. She was telling me about her new teacher, and she said, you won't believe he is another gay. Okay. Soulless. Hey, Mike, I love your work. Do you dabble in or have interest in bonsai? Uh, I don't. It seems like it would drive me crazy because you know what? When I got into succulents, they're all bonsai because they didn't grow at all in Brooklyn because you don't have enough heat or sunlight. And now they're all ecstatic here that they're in Texas. But yeah, I think it's a fascinating, um, especially when they ha they train them so that it looks like the trees like in the wind. They make these great shapes. It's really, really interesting stuff. How do I get my Ukrainian coworkers to show more sympathy for my eating disorder? Um, well, I'd probably start by throwing up in front of them that's the way to do it that's the way to do it okay 10 more minutes mm. oh um i need to book next week's guest mm. recommendations on what to see or do in san antonio san antonio sucks like it, it's a very corporate empty city other than that river walk and there's this cool hotel, which I'm sure if you Google it, you'll you'll you know which one I mean. There's not much there. Um, it doesn't suck like in a way. Some other, it's like it's just it's like a, not a place. I would love to see Paul Heyman from WWE on your welcome. He's a he's yeah, he you right? Any follow up thoughts on the Thad podcast? Bob Murphy put out a long rebuttal podcast in opposition to Thad. Well, Bob Murphy put that out last year, I believe. Um, I don't really have any more thoughts. He, I think Thad made his position very clear. I was glad that I could give him a, a space to clarify um, his words that got him into so much uh, controversy.
this is an issue that uh, means a lot to me and I take very, very seriously and I know a fair amount about both from uh, having friends who are, you know, victims. So, yeah, I, I, I don't really know I have anything particular to add to that. Um, hey, Michael, do you have an African milk tree in your collection? They look like chainsaws. Yeah, I, those are, you could get those at Ikea. Come on. Come on. It's Euphorbia trigona is the um, a real name. And it's not milk. It's a toxic latex um, that you don't want to get in your hands. So one second. Okay, cool. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm just. I, I'm. I'm again. Like I. I. I've been thinking a lot since that Cernovich episode, which we recorded on Monday, three days ago, about how Putin thinks this is going to play out, and my big concern, my big, big, big concern is that he's opening up a front in Ukraine so that China can pull some stunts. That is really a possibility that is scary to me. Um, I love the interview with Cernovich. You both echoed so many thoughts on the situation. Thanks for putting this together. He's great. Like, he's absolutely great. Well, thank you so much, Gerald. Um, thank you so much, Combo. Yeah, and... and uh, What's your favorite concert you've been to? Oh, that's a great question. What's my favorite concert? You know, I don't think I've ever been to a concert that I loved. I don't like the concert experience. Um, it's crowded. It's noisy. It's annoying. So I can't, I can't think of one where it just completely blew me away. Oh, you know what it was? I know what it was. I was working on Brett Michaels' book. And I went to see him perform and I was sitting on the stage and he knows how to put on a show and it was amazing. So yeah, I think that would have to be my answer. Um, saw you at Tom Woods 2000 was a great moment that dude tried to come up to the stage and was tackled and you go, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Smith. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, the fact that you can remain even slightly positive and hopeful is very inspiring. Well, you are welcome, Liam. Um, you turned my conservative dad to an anarchist. Wait, really? Holy crap. I didn't think there's any hope for them. Wow. Holy crap. Um, just spam me because I feel helpless. Ukrainian women are great. Just You just need to take the reins. And she was a Mariana Trench, a deep soul, so watch your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, Mariana Trench because she's ice cold. Devil woman. Um. Thank you so much. Okay, I am going to. What has there, has there been like a really good concert? I'm just thinking of the concerts I've seen: Go Go's, Magna Pop, the Pipettes, Blondie, Ronnie Spector, Saint Etienne. Who's that guy? That I saw some some goth guy. The guy from um, Sisters of Mercy. I think I saw him. Tuscadero were really good. Because I was really young. So that might be it. Yeah, like it might be Tuscadero, but not because of the performance, but because it was like so cool. That might be my answer. Consider this being the you're welcome for the day. Love to everyone, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much. Um, I hate the argument that we need government to keep us safe when it's governments that start wars and slaughter mass amounts of innocent people. And... Keep people from getting food. We have enough food on earth right now to feed everyone like three times over. The only reason there's ever mass famine is when governments are preventing people from getting food. Even when there's like natural disasters, the food's gotten to them fairly easily. Nobody has made me rethink my political positions as much in the past years as you have. Wow, that's so kind. Thank you for your books and videos. Good luck in your current book. We could all use a white pill right about now. Well, I'm writing about torture uh it's not fun um you and cern which are some of my favorite life advice people it would be cool if you had a you're welcome episode the topic of advice for young people oh that would be cool that would be really cool 
I'll do a live stream, like 10 tips I wish I told myself when I was young. Okay, I'm about to – thank you for what you do. Happy to know funds will end up actually getting to those who need it. Yes. Do the chapters in the Anarchist Handbook have to be read in order? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's just they're chronological. Um, I just added up all the super chats, and the amount is – Wait, seriously? Oh, ha, 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 you got me. That's really funny. You had me. Um, what do DEI training coming up from a long trip have in common? There's a lot to unpack. Oh, God. I wish I was in Ukraine after having heard that. Um, Re-anarchy re versus nation. Do the invasion stop when all current nuclear players have conquered all they can? I don't know. I, I think we like we we got a ways to go before we find out, right? Um, you've probably answered this. I gotta take this. Hold on a second. Hey, can you call me back in five minutes? Literally. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. I have to. You've probably answered this several times. What is the white pill going to be? About? What is the white pill going to be about? Stay tuned. I don't want. I haven't answered it really. Um, I smash your videos over the heads of boomers I work with. I don't know why I try, but every now I create a fan of you that you'll surely block. <laughs> awesome. Um, loved your stream on cyclists and recently got my first one, a monstrous character called Ming Thing. Those are very common. Um, Sirius Forb Sirius Forbesy, I think is the Latin name. Um, thanks for doing this. Looking forward to you finishing the white pill. Yeah, you and me both. Um, wow. Thank you for the generosity. Uh, another example of Michael Malice creative charity giving. Well, that's very kind. Oh, it's good to see your name, Eliza. Okay. I am going to head out. Uh, thank you all for all the support. I will post receipts as soon as I add up all the monies that were, um, raised. Um, feeding people is not a partisan tribal or political position in my view. Uh, and I think most of us here don't know what it's like to be on the run and hungry and not knowing if we're going to see the rest of our family. So if we can give those people a little comfort, uh, I think that's just basic humanity. Um, I just joined the stream, the Russian military shell. Yep. Yep. We heard. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Max. Okay, guys, I will uh, talk to you soon and thank you for all the support.